As Bungie prepares for the release of Destiny 2 on PC, there is a lot of speculation on future content and what about the current game could use tweaking. Every week, the developers behind the shooter gives fans an update on new investigations and what is on the immediate horizon. With such a strong communication line between the developers and the fans of the game, many Guardians continuously take to the forums to offer their suggestions and feedback. One recurring theme in the comments targets the way Bungie handled weapon perks in Destiny 2 vs. the first title. Before the sequel even launched, game director Luke Smith broke down the way they would be handling weapon rolls. Unlike the first title, where players could roll random perks, each weapon would have a set level assigned on an individual basis. The addition of mods can provide a few additional buffs, but for the most part, all each weapon will have a consistent roll. Smith took to the fans one more time to clarify their stance on weapon rolls and why they are choosing to remain firm on this decision. In the latest issue of Edge magazine, Luke touched on the reason for the consistency and where they think they can improve, including more selective drops. I'm still a pretty big supporter of the change. I believe that, ultimately, the Destiny franchise is heading towards becoming a collection game. I understand that we have shortcomings there right now that we need to address. With respect to making duplicates matter, this is still one of the things we have ideas for. You project, when something comes out, what you think the problems are going to be. Sometimes you're right, and you're like, cool, we can just do the work we plan to do. Sometimes you're not right, or you have something else come up that becomes a higher priority. So for us, what we're doing right now is looking at the potential work we could do, and we'll prioritize it. I still believe, and so does the Gamma Play team, that we've done the right thing for the collection game. With the game only out for a month, and rotations of post-campaign content every week, and the promise of expansions on the horizon, many players have voiced their opinions on the topic of fixed weapon roles. Many feel that this decision has caused Gamma Play to feel more monotonous and takes away from the rewarding feeling of grinding for the perfect weapon. According to a good chunk of Guardians taking to the world of Destiny 2, the motivation and drive to grind just isn't present like it was in the first title. With plenty of changes and new additional content coming soon, it is possible that fans could see some sort of change to the weapon drops, perhaps even when the first DLC drops in December, Curse of Osiris. Until then, players can continue to share feedback and Bungie will continue to update gamers on what progress is being made. Destiny 2 is available now for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, with a PC release slated for October 24th.